these went in the first part of May, the first playing of tomatoes did, then they want to extend that heat season. They're, they get busy here in the fall, so they want to have produce well into October, November, December, so he actually just put some tomatoes in here the first part of June, which will extend his harvest season up until the busy fall season when they get busy with their with their apples and so forth. Now, these are all determinate varieties. Beltmore is one variety that's really gaining in popularity with our high tunnel growers. And then he also has Mountain Fresh in here. Uh, one good thing with high tunnels is you shut off the environment where you don't have wind beating up your fruit, you don't have rain beating on it. However, when you shut off Mother Nature, you play Mother Nature. So everything's under drip irrigation. Uh, there's been questions this morning, how often do you irrigate? I'd rather see a little bit of, with drip, a little bit of irrigation every day than try to get one big shot in every week. We don't want to have these peaks and valleys in our, in our irrigation, our water. We like to keep that bed just nice and moist. The question was how often? Well, we're definitely irrigating more now than we were a month ago. So it depends a lot on environment and so forth. Uh, the farmers that are harvesting now, around Memor or Memorial Day weekend, they went and pulled a shade cloth onto their tunnels just because they had so much fruit sitting there. And Memorial Day weekend, down these parts anyway, down south here, is always when the heat comes in. And when we get that intense heat and that intense sunshine, that fruit just hanging out there, you know you got a lot of foliage, can burn the shoulders of that fruit. So as you can see, Mike's ready to put shade cloth on. He hasn't had to because he's not that far advanced in his production like some of the other growers are. But as soon as he starts getting nice big fruit out there, then he'll go ahead and pull that shade cloth because everything's magnified in here. The sun, sunlight just comes through that plastic just like a magnifying glass, and the heat is so magnified. Um, they're all passive heated and passive solar. That means we're relying on the sunshine to heat this thing up, and we have to do the manually cool it. Uh, I like that, that uh, Mike has went and had peak vents put in, a simple peak vent. I can't get too many of my farmers to put in a simple peak vent, but a simple peak vent can really help a day like today get a lot of that excess heat out there and keeping the temperatures somewhat down. It's going to be tough to keep it cool, but that, that peak vent helps a lot. But then you also see they have roll-up sides. It's all manual again. There's no electric or nothing running these. So um, like in April and May, you can have a nice 50 degree day outside, but you get a sunny day in April, it can be well over 100 in here. So you have to be able to manage the, the ventilation of these tunnels all manually. And so these got roll up sides. More and more of my farmers are starting to go with the uh, drop down curtains. Drop down curtains uh, are like what they use on chicken barns and hog barns, especially the farmers that are doing early season production. You plant a tomato plant in here in February, you're still going to have to crack this a little bit to get some ventilation. If you do roll up sides, that little transplant's getting a big burst of cold temperatures coming in at the bottom down there, where a drop down curtain, you can crack it up here. You still get the ventilation, you still get a little bit of air movement in there, but you're not giving that little uh, transplant a big shot of, uh, of cold temperatures. So more and more farmers, especially the ones that are doing modified high tunnels, getting into the, into the greenhouses and the tunnels real early in the season. They're using drop down curtains, but a simple, uh, all homemade. You can tell how Micah made that uh, simple roll up side thing. Um, that's with the tomatoes. Uh, in the other tunnel, um, we've been doing some research on trying to extend the harvest season of strawberries. You can sell strawberries whenever you have them. We've done plastic culture strawberries. We can get them earlier. We can start harvesting in May. Uh, we can do matted row here up until about the 4th of July. Um, but they would like to see some strawberries coming in throughout the summer months and well into the fall for when they have their, their apples and their festival and everything going on. So Mike's looking at a variety called Albion, which is a summer bearing variety. Have quite a few growers. We've been looking at Albion down at our research farm at Piketon, which is just a little bit south of here, uh, for quite a few years. And it, it does work. we got to perfect the system. But it's a summer fruiting variety that will actually start flowering now. And then we'll start continuing to fruit and flower that crop up till Thanksgiving, we've, we've harvested strawberries already. So a little bit of issues here when you have tunnels, watch the chemical usage. Um, you can't use the same stuff we use in the orchards and in the vineyards and in the berry patches and the vegetable patches inside the tunnels. They just don't work. Always read the labels because there's a lot of the chemicals will say right on there, do not use in a tunnel or a greenhouse or enclosed environment. What we had problems here, you see the outside rows? 
the plants aren't looking too good, are they? A little bit of herbicide injury, even just a herbicide application around the outside, Roundup or any mm. any uh, systemic herbicide like that. That darn stuff can just move a little bit in these tunnels and just keep floating around in there, and it doesn't break down. It could be, you know, some I've seen sometimes years we still mm. see Roundup injury popping up uh, inside tunnels. So just be very cautious if you're using any types of. Uh, chemicals, especially herb herbicides and tunnels, do not really get along too well.